Hey guys, I wasn't going to make a video on this, but I checked out YouTube and there are not a ton of videos on this, so here we go. Changing a rear shock on a, what is this, 99 to 2000, eh, say to 2004 Tahoe GMC without the air ride. So let's get started. A lot of you guys are probably going to be doing this in your driveway, so here's what I did. First step, they're right, about, right in front of the pivot arm there, you probably can't see it too well, but I jacked it up probably four or five inches just so we can get a little more room in the back end here. All right, here's where it gets really simple. Right there, 13 sixteenths, up above, 13 sixteenths. And let me grab a wrench here and I'll show you how I did the top one here because that's the tricky one. All right, so here we are up underneath here and what we're looking at here is right back here. This is the inside frame rail and this is the wrench I'm using. This is about a six inch extension with a 13 sixteenths. So you can get that up up behind there and get back to that shock bolt and then you can just put an open end on the other side. So I'll crank that off quick and move to the lower one. All right, ah, next is the lower one. And I'm just, I got Croil, I love Croil for damn near everything. I'm just gonna put a little shot of that ah, right there. And then, don't need our extension anymore. Same thing, crank her off. So I'll fast forward to this and you can watch me wrench away and see the fun part about it. Well, first, break it loose. These ah, shouldn't be too bad if you don't live in a rusty climate. So there we go. So watch me. All right, old crappy shock out. That took about five minutes to undo it. So time for the new one. All right, here we go. Gabriel Ultra Shocks. Not super expensive, but they'll do the trick. 43 bucks for these a piece. And I'm gonna put the writing out. Took my gloves off, because we're no longer dealing with dirty stuff. So I'll just do the reverse order, pop this guy back in, and then we'll do the lower one and pop that guy back in. All right, so we're kind of snug here, and oh, son of a bitch, son of a bitch, look what I did. That's no good. I wonder if I can compress this guy up. Rah! Look at that, popped her loose. Now I can stick this guy back in there. Before you tighten the top up, you wanna make sure that um, sometimes these things will get angled. There we go. And you can compress them by hand like that if you saw me, or they got wires on them, these little nifty little wire snippers here. You can snip them guys off. And then plop the bottom one on. But first, now that I got this one on, I gotta crank this top one tight because we're at the angle we need to be now so we're good call it good all right i'm gonna slap a little more oil on here for future reference. And tighten away. <sighs> there we are. Rear shocks up. Took probably 10 minutes per side, maybe. Uh, passenger side, you gotta watch out. You got heater lines up there, so they might kinda get in the way. But um, yeah, that's it half an hour you can have these bad boys replaced uh, one more comment if you're wondering about my little uh, bar here my half inch ratchet um, this thing came from Harbor Freight oh no 
but this has been the coolest this is a half inch drive this has been the coolest little bar i've had for doing this type of stuff it's awesome side note anyways there we go rear shocks on a we'll say 99 new model 99 to 04 chevy tahoe gmc yukon without the air ride easy to do you do it in your driveway no time at all two wrenches and you're good to go so there you go hope that helped you guys out thanks for watching be sure to check out my channel be sure to like comment share subscribe i got a ton of videos some car stuff i do a lot of uh, gunsmithing stuff machining stuff and other stuff so check it out all right till next time maybe i'll move up to the front and do the front ones now so see you guys later thanks for watching stay safe in your machines and shoot safe see you guys later thank you